probably teach you here. You know, I could put music or an accompaniment to this video. I can even change the scenery. I can put on my suit. I can have all of the bells and the whistles and the glitter and the glamour in this video just to try and appeal to you or anyone else. And I could get it off. But you know what? One thing that most of us have lost is our sense of humanity. All of those things are illusions. They are just surface. They're not important at all when you're talking about real life issues to real people. I'm talking to the common man in this video. Right now I am. So I don't have to have on my martial arts hat, as it were. I don't have to have on my business hat. Nor do I have to have on my religious or spiritual hat. I'm talking to all of you and all of us. Because at the end of the day, we are all still flesh and blood, living, sentient, built beings or human beings with feelings. No matter what job or vocation you may have, we're all still the same fundamentally. So that's who I'm talking to. And I said that to say this. My question that I'm asking you today is that are you free? Or are you your own person? Or are you independent? Or are you dancing to someone else's drum roll? Do you control your life and your destiny and your future? Or at least the majority of it. There are some things that are beyond our control. We have certain governmental restraints or constraints. But for the most part, are you in control? Now I can say, well, I can give you a moment to think about that, but you might get bored. You can turn the video off and come back to it later and think about it. But do you? Do you control your life? Is someone else pushing your buttons or pulling your strings? Am I too general in that question? Do you not yet get it? Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't hear anything else and comprehend anything else, get this. We all came into this world. We were born through our mother's womb. And we came into the world. Now, upon arriving here, we all were given traditions, customs, habits, policies, and procedures. As human beings, we were subjected to our environments wherever we were born. And we basically have been acting out those things in our lives up until this very point. That's what I'm getting at. How much of what you and I were taught, introduced to, and have experienced through someone else's vision, how much of it is really true? How much of it is really of value to us? Is it really hindering us and has it hindered us? Has it even been detrimental to us, the things that we have been taught from a child up until now? In other words, are you programmed, are we programmed, are we controlled by some outside force? Don't get all spooky when I say force. That's a general term. Some influence, in other words, for some of you. Are we controlled by the government? to a great degree. I mean there's cameras everywhere. Your cell phone. Do you think you have security and safety and privacy on the cell phone? If you believe that, I'm sure they got another one for you. Do you believe that your smart televisions are not watching you? 
Do you believe that there are not third parties on your phone when you're talking to people on your phone? And do you not believe that when you're not on your phone that your phone is actually still on? And someone monitoring you and your behavior and what goes on in your home and between you and others. This is not a conspiracy theory, ladies and gentlemen. As I said before, I borrowed this expression from Dane Calloway. I'm just trying to get you to think as well. Are you thinking? Or are you complacent? And are you just satisfied with where you are and how you are in your life at this point? This is deep, what I'm saying to you. Not for the squeamish. Not for the weak minded. But for those who really care about themselves. Their future. And that of course of your children and grandchildren. If you have any. What is really going on. In our world today. Do you really know. Or are you too busy. Worried about the next electronic device coming out. iPhone. Or laptop or PlayStation or going to the next party or club to drop it like it's hot or to throw money around or to watch the sports waiting for the Super Bowl the NBA maybe even golf tournaments and soccer maybe even martial arts events entertainment rap the newest movie that's coming out all of these things that are done to keep our attention on them and away from the things that we really should be paying attention to. So what could that thing possibly be or those things possibly be, brother teacher? How the world is changing around us and our eyes are open. But they're shut at the same time because our brain is not comprehending what's really going on. Think about it. Leave your comments in the comment section below. If you still don't know what I'm talking about, ask me and I'll tell you. But I think you do. This is Brother Teacher. I'm out.